Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick update video to a video that I did a while ago showing how to install Zero Tier on Synology DSM 7. The problem a few viewers have been recently encountering is the switch from Docker to Container Manager. They're getting caught up by trying to create a new project in Container Manager and you don't have to do that. So I thought it would be helpful if I made this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the process. Okay, so I'm signed into my Synology. Let's go into the package center because the first thing we need to do is install the container manager. So let's open up package center and let's just do a quick search. Let's go ahead and install container manager. Let's open container manager. We can see that it's running. Let's go ahead and open it. And you can see there are no services created. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now that we have Container Manager set up, let's go into the control panel. We need to enable SSH for this process. So we're gonna just say enable SSH service. We could leave the port on 22 for now and click apply. All right, so now that we have Container Manager installed and we have SSH enabled, we can begin the process of installing Zero Tier via the command line. The problem that most people ran into when Docker was replaced by Container Manager was they tried to create a new project and you don't have to do that. All you have to do is get Container Manager installed because it really is Docker just with another name and some more bells and whistles. Make sure SSH is enabled on the device and then jump into the command line. So we're going to do that now. So let me close this. We're going to follow this document right here. This is a help document from the Zero Tier website. So we're just gonna follow these commands here. And these are the same commands that I did in my previous video from a year or two ago, how to install Zero Tier on DSM-7. So let's go ahead and follow this document. So the first thing we have to do is get signed in. Okay, now that we're signed in, we need to change to root because the following steps have to be done as root. Okay, so now we're signed in as root. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna come over, we're gonna follow the next step in the help document. We have to write the script. So we're gonna copy the command to write the script that's going to create the tunnel. We're gonna come over and we're gonna paste it into our terminal. And we've successfully written the script. Now we have to change the permissions on the script. So we're gonna come back over to the help document and copy the change mod command. And we were successful in changing the permissions. We're gonna run the script once to create the tunnel, as it says here. And that was successful as well. And if we run this command here, we can check for the tunnel. And then you can see here, we have a confirmation that the tunnel has been created. So, so far, so good. Nothing has changed from the last video. So now we're gonna follow the next steps. Here it says install Docker on your NAS. It's telling you go to the package center and search for Docker. So. We've already installed Container Manager and this document really needs to be updated. Zero Tier should update this document to say install Container Manager on your NAS, but in any event, we've already got that done. So we're gonna go up here and we're gonna say set up container. We are gonna copy this command here to make the directory. Okay, so we've successfully created our zero tier directory. Now we're going to go ahead and install or run our container command. So we're gonna copy this command here. Again, this is exactly the same process as my previous video, just with the new twist of Docker being referred to as container manager.
Okay, so let's go ahead now and view the node status. Let's copy this command here. And you can see here we get a successful message that the node is online. Okay, the next step is to join the zero tier network. So we're going to use this command here, but we're going to replace this zero tier. This is just a sample zero tier network string. We're going to have to replace this string with our own zero tier network string. So let's, let me get logged into zero tier. All right, so I'm signed into my zero tier account now. And what we have to do is copy that network string, that network ID. So here it is. I don't care that you see it because by the time you see this video, this network will have been destroyed. So let's go ahead and copy this. And now we're going to come back over to continue with our installation. So we're going to take this string right here, but we're going to replace the network ID, the sample network ID with our own. So let's get this one typed in manually. And we pasted in our own network ID. And you can see here it says 200 join OK. So that's great. So now the next thing we have to do is authorize the NAS on the network. So let's come back over to the zero tier network and let's just refresh this page. And if we scroll down, we should see the NAS waiting to be authorized. So it says here, one device has joined the network and here it is right here. We can give it a name if we want. Let's just go ahead and authorize it. And now we should be able to view the network status. So let's copy this command, paste it in. So we can see here that we have our zero tier ID, our quick tech test network. So everything was successful. All right, so there you go. A quick update showing how to install zero tier on Synology DSM-7 using Container Manager. If you were getting stuck on this, I hope this video helps you get over the hump. For more content like this, please click the video on the screen. Thank you so much for watching.